Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today work continues on the glass greenhouse build. I've got Zinn from the YouTube channel Maybe Bonsai coming down today to help me. That'll be awesome. I spent yesterday digging out the soil for the footings, getting it all level and true. Nice flat bottom on that clay surface. And today I'm going to get the materials to construct the form for pouring the concrete and I'll be getting some rebar to reinforce it also. Yesterday was a really warm day and today it won't be much different. It's going to be a high of 30 degrees Celsius and really humid. The sun is just starting to hit the benches behind me so I'll have to keep a careful eye on the trees today. Make sure I water them mid-afternoon to keep those roots cool. I haven't driven my old Ford truck here in I think it's been like a month and a half. I only use it uh, as a truck. I don't drive it around in the city like a car or anything. So today I get to drive it again, which is kind of exciting. The last trip with the truck was hauling manure, so I better clean it out before I put all the new materials in. Today is the steel place. I'm gonna get the rebar. I've got the air conditioning on full blast. All the windows are open. <sighs> it's gonna be a hot day today. I am back from the steel place. I got my eight pieces of rebar here. They're 10 millimeters in diameter. It costs $55 for that lot there. So I'll unload them and then I'll get the wood for the forms. Zin from the YouTube channel Maybe Bonsai has arrived. So we're going to start the day by going to the hardware store to buy the wood for the forms and we're gonna buy half a load of concrete. It's gonna be a lot of work today. It's gonna be a lot of work on a hot day. Yeah. All right, off we go. <laughs> we've got all the concrete and the wood from the hardware store. So now we've got to unload it and bring it to the backyard. So here we go. Two tarps, yeah. Oh, you did good. Okay. Yeah, then you get a miss You got her? Yeah. Okay. We gotta put one more on this other end. Don't tip over. So maybe one across here and one across the other side? Okay. Okay, off to go get more cement. <laughs> okay. There we go. Then this and this other one is like that. We're back with load number two, another 15 bags of concrete. So it costs about $100 for 15 bags. Here comes in with the wheelbarrow. I thought I was crazy doing this. <laughs> Heavy stuff. Yeah. So he thinks we'll need more than 30. Maybe he's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good thing it's not hot out, is it? No, <laughs> yeah, only 30 degrees. <laughs> It's a... You good? <laughs> These things are so heavy. They need to put handles on the bag. Yeah, something. Can't grip these. Once you get your hands under, it's okay. Okay, do it all over again. <laughs> nice. Zinn and I took the bicycles downtown, got a fantastic lunch. Just got back and it started raining, but it looks like the rain stopped now and the sun's coming out. So that's good. I didn't have to water my trees this afternoon. They got a nice gentle rain on them. That'll cool them off on this hot day. Zinn and I are putting together the forms for the concrete. So far it's going quite well. This is pretty, uh, pretty flush. Pretty flush. Yeah. All right, in it goes. Once you get the bottom in, it's going to pull this one in. Yeah. This is normal, right? Yeah. Is that good? Is the hole look good? That looks good. Okay. Good height. So these corner stakes are so we can measure our diagonals when the form is in the ground. I did it back there to the greenhouse form. There. Okay. That's got it. We've got the frame in the ground, the form, and we're just checking the squareness of the corners. So it's floating above the ground and then we're going to slowly hammer it down into the soil to get it at the right height for the cement. So we gotta make sure it's level and square. So we're using a framing square and we put these four posts in the corners so we can check the diagonals once it's lower in the ground to make sure we're absolutely square. So it's a tricky process getting it level and square. I'll say corner, yep. I'm about 152 right on. Okay. This way. I'm about 152 right on also. All right, well then, so this that's is pretty wood. good. Probably a warp or something that's looking at. Oh, how high? Oh, now we're low on that corner. Okay. <laughs> how, uh, how deep do you want this to go? It's got to go down so it's just oh, above just the above? soil level oh, eventually. You got, you got it. So we can hammer it in yeah. quite a bit. It's a little wiggly. Yeah. Take it this way. Brought my level. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Cool. We've got the form level and square, so now we're just putting the stakes in to hold everything in place. And I think that's pretty well ready for concrete then. So thanks to the help of Zinn today, we have all the forms in place down here. Yay for Zinn. <laughs> yeah, that really helped. Just hauling all the, those concrete uh, bags was just so nice to have a second person. Yeah, so that's, that's looking really good. So I'm going to have to have a whole day of concrete work. So I'll have to 
I'll have to get my uh, rebar in place, set at the right height, about halfway up on the uh, two by fours there. And then I'll start early in the morning mixing concrete. I'll put the, the uh, there's a big tub I'm mixing it in in the middle. And then I'll just shovel it around, keep mixing and shoveling all day. And then I'll level it off to the top of the two by fours. And that's where my concrete block wall will sit on top of that. And I'll have to order all the concrete blocks and pick those up and then mortar those in place and then put capping blocks on top of them. And then the greenhouse, the aluminum pieces will sit on top of that. So that is the plan. So yeah, thanks Sin. No problem. Uh, easy stuff. <laughs> I'm not tired. <laughs> <laughs> it was just hot out today. Oh, it was very hot. <laughs> so hot and humid. It rained a couple of times, but we kept at it. <laughs>